As we celebrate Europe Day, I think it's worth recalling the central role that the Fianna Fáil party and successive Taoiseach played in leading Ireland into the European Union. Our aim is to join these other Western European countries in an extended common market. Sean Lamass led the groundwork and did the groundwork as a passionate believer in Ireland being part of what was then known as the European Common Market. To take advantage of the tremendous benefits that offer when we would become members of the community. Jack Lynch with Paddy Hillary led the uh, recommendation to the people in a referendum in 1972, which led to an overwhelming majority of the Irish people deciding to join. That decision to join was the most transformative decision taken by an Irish government and by the Irish people since the foundation of the state. Membership has transformed our country economically and socially and has given us the economic independence to go along with the political independence won in the 1920s. The European Union changes and evolves in tandem with the needs of its member states and citizens. The Covid pandemic, the illegal invasion of Ukraine and the cost of living crisis have all shown that the EU can react and respond in emergencies. The European Fall team in the European Parliament is committed to standing up for the Irish interests in the EU while always working to build a stronger, greener and more resilient union for our citizens. Happy Europe Day from Smithfield Square here in the heart of Dublin. Over the last 50 years this place has completely transformed. But so is Dublin and so is Ireland, socially, economically and in every possible way. And one of the things we should remember is that we shouldn't pull the ladder up behind us. There are many others that wish to join the European Union and I'm thinking obviously Ukraine, but also the Western Balkans. One lesson we've learned as a small member state is that together we're strong. Europe Day is hugely important in terms of acknowledging and recognising the importance of the European institutions. It's really important that we look at the next generation of human rights, that we preserve and safeguard democracy, human rights and the rule of law.